Hi guys, so we are headed out to the newly acquired Cotton Cabin, which is a new cabin that was just bought by the Porcupine Mountains. Um, it was a private residence and they sold it to the park, so I've never seen it. And the mosquitoes. Um, taking the whole family with me this time. This will be their first time coming out to the Porkies, so definitely bringing a lot more gear than I normally do, like pillows and stuff like that, just because I want them to have a really good time for their first time out, and I hope that they'll want to come back every year. So I'm excited. It's about 75 degrees, really hardly any bugs, blue sky, and last night was a full moon, so I expect a really nice sunset, and hopefully we'll see the moon tonight as well. Here it is, Cotton Cabin. And a perfect day. Didn't even feel a temperature change getting close to the lake. How cute. This is going to be amazing. Nothing under the bridge. Cute little storage shed of some sort. Another storage shed. I think it said there was a sauna at one point, but it looks like it's locked up, unfortunately. And there's actually wood left. And Forrest is doing so good. He's carrying his own backpack with all of his clothes in it. I'm so proud of him. There's our overloaded camping wagon. My daughter Aurora also carrying her own backpack. She started when she was Forrest's age with carrying her own backpack. So it's exciting to bring everybody and I know we're going to have a great time. Two fire pits, one right there, and then one down here by the beach, which is amazing. Looks like there's a little river here. Here he comes! Come on! There's a little river there. Just don't go off the edge. Can I go inside the water? Yep. Okay. Whatever you would like. Oh, there's even deer tracks. What? So there's deer tracks coming down here. Mmm, mm -hmm. it smells like Lake Superior. Look at how clear the water is. This is going to be paradise. Yep. Is it warm? Is it warm or cold? Is it? This deer just scared the crap out of me. It doesn't even care that we're here. It just came up to change. And I looked over and it was right there. Steel some head. Steel head trout, yep. Yeah. I'm putting some olive oil. And then we have this Kinders or Kinder seasoning blend, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. Are you telling them? Mm hmm. Cooking in the fire. 
fire you wrap it up real good. And the way you can tell when it's starting to cook is when it is when it starts puffing up. And that's when the heat is getting in there and just expanding. And that's how you know when it's starting to really get nice and hot. And then I'll wrap this one more time, throw it in the fire, and it shouldn't take too long. Depends on how hot your fire is and how much coals you have, but fish in the fire is delicious. Kind of cheater, but it's quick and at least it has some vegetables. Beautiful evening. There he goes. Forrest and I are on a walk. I can't believe how calm it is. The sun is slowly setting. Good job. Let me skip another rock. Good job. It's what? Keep finding crayfish claws. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Oh, yeah. There it goes. That's a lot more orangey pink in person. The whole oh. sky. Okay. The whole sky is beautiful. Can't believe how still it is tonight. We have a nice cheery fire. It is such a still morning. I've never seen it so calm for so many days. It's just an endless horizon. Can't tell where the lake meets the sky. It never fails as soon as I get down to the lake to enjoy a peaceful cup of coffee. Some little Little somebody has to use the outhouse. <laughs> it's you. We'll give you a official outhouse tour. This one actually has the see-through roof, which is nice. Tiny outhouse, but not too bad. And then there's not too bad. the lime that you throw down in there. So it's so actually kind of cute. Look at this snake skin that Forrest found under this log. It's amazing how just strong it is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Good find. Woo! Don't get catapulted off. I cannot stand up. Ah! <laughs>
little tour right there. It's cool. Looks like there's a bridge over the river. The London Bridge. I hope it doesn't fall down. Feel it moving? You feel it moving? How's it moving? Let me get down there. Wow, oh, is that pretty? All the tadpoles. If you don't want it, then just throw it inside there. Foxy gobbles stuff. Cobble. No gobble. Not cobble. Sister, you always say so. Forrest is my little mountain goat. He's got to climb up all the rocks. Good job. <laughs> you can be able to get down now? Better go down where you went up. Good job. I'm in heaven. What have a little bit of wine. I've got my comfy slippers on. I've got my cute little boy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you win real die. Oh, if this is real life, then I'm double lucky. We got a nice fire. The wind is picked up though, but it's still nice. It means no bugs. Look at all the babies.
mentioned that the salmon have been spawning and coming up this little bit right here and I did hear splashing the other night and I hadn't read the journals till afterwards but now I realize that the splashing I was hearing must have been the salmon and I wish I would have known because I can't imagine them coming up here but they're coming up the river and then spawning up there so I missed it but it's so so interesting The life cycle of a salmon is so short. Basically, they come up, lay their eggs, and then basically just die. I love all the little pond skaters. nice cabin. Forest doesn't want to leave. <laughs> I don't think any of us do. It's so hard to go back to civilization. Spiders are beautiful here. It's so, so odd looking. <laughs> so I've really enjoyed myself and I love bringing my family here for their first experience. But it's been hard for me because I do enjoy being quiet and sitting a lot when I'm camping. Um, and Kids, unfortunately, these days are just, they always have to be connected to their electronics, and even my kids. <laughs> uh, so they're worried about service and you know, their phones and games and laptops and things. So they would need constant noise and stimulation. And that's, that's my fault because of the way I'm basically solo parenting. So I do depend a lot on the TV and devices and things to keep them busy while I'm cooking and cleaning and working and doing all the things. So there's a bit of a change when we come out here because, um, you know, I love the solitude and it's harder for them. So it's just going to take time, more time, um, and hopefully I'll find a place that I can live that's, you know, more more secluded and they'll become more used to being in solitude and entertaining themselves. It all just takes time. So um, in all, it's been a really great trip. Just I think it's been hardest on me and just not being able to be quiet and um, just having to take care of everything. Um, not just myself, but everybody else's needs too is really hard to do. <laughs> I feel quite worn out, but... Um, that's part of the trade-off when you take your family out into the woods is it's a lot a lot more work for me for sure um, so I am looking forward to my solo backpacking trip in about five weeks I'll be coming back out here by myself with just what I can carry on my back it'll be about a 30 30 mile journey um, so I'm looking forward to that overall it's been a good time and I'm glad we came and now it's back to civilization.
dishes, which must have been left here by the previous owners. Plates, stoneware plates. Not much in the drawers. A game of Uno. But pretty much nothing else in any of these. This one has, there's like a mop and a broom and some actual poker sticks, um, very nice wood stove, and then there's fireplace tools there, um, uh, axe and a saw, there's really pretty little hooks, fire extinguisher. This is the main bedroom, um, I would guess that's a double bed there, which is nice, and it leads to the outside, which I'll show you in a minute. And then the two, two bunk beds. The only thing about this cabin is it's very dark. <laughs> it's just hard to see in here. Um, it is beautiful. It actually looks brighter on my camera than it does in person. It's real dark in here. you have the outside view to the lake and then out the back you have this cute porch the sauna which is not open a little outhouse some wood and this back porch which probably doesn't get used very much because you wouldn't really sit out here when you can look at the lake but there's a nice river view and Time to say goodbye. Goodbye, cotton cabin. It's been fun. I don't remember if I said it in the beginning, but this cabin is $125 a night. And it's about a mile hike in. So we're heading back out. Goodbye. Always hard to leave. Headed back to civilization. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the like button. Helps encourage me to know that people like my videos and want to make more because it does take a bit of effort to do these. Having to stop and film and set up the tripod and rather than just coming and just enjoying it, which I do enjoy it, but I do enjoy making the videos for everybody too. I have a few subscribers I know that can't be active themselves, so it helps them to kind of live through my adventures, and I'm happy to take you along with me, so to speak. And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.